Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to try and answer the question where did all the matter of the universe come from? Well in the previous video we saw that 99% of all the visible matter in the universe is either hydrogen or helium 75% hydrogen, about 25% helium, a little bit less and everything else in the universe, all the other elements on the periodic table the stuff that we're made out of, everything around us is made of, the earth is made up that makes up a very small tiny fraction of the matter in the universe but where did it come from? Well, it turns out in the very beginning of the universe, there was no matter at all. The only thing in the universe was energy. Energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Very high energy electromagnetic radiation, but no matter whatsoever. But it turns out that this process, the process that's dictated by E equals mc squared, caused that energy to turn into matter. What kind of matter? Well, mostly hydrogen. So, when matter began to be formed out of the energy, with this relationship between energy and matter, most of the matter was hydrogen. But then something happened at the beginning of the universe where about a quarter of all the hydrogen turned into helium. So, we start out with 100% of the matter being hydrogen to 25% becoming helium and 75% of it remaining as hydrogen. So then, for many millions of years, the only matter that exists in the universe was hydrogen, and I should put hydrogen behind it, 75%, and helium, about 25%. And it would remain like that for millions of years until stars began to form. And when stars began to form, they began to transfer helium into carbon. So most of the carbon in the world was formed through a process that happens inside stars. And we'll tell you a lot more about that when we get to those chapters. But what about all the other stuff? What about the stuff that makes up the earth? All the rock and the metal and everything that's existing in the earth. Where did that come from? And how did we get it from the stars to where we are today? How did the planet earth come about with all this material on it? Well it turns out there's a very special process where all the other elements on the periodic table are created. And they're created in a very catastrophic process that created in star explosions. Now what kind of star explosions are they? Well they're called supernovas. And so supernovas are kind of the end stage of very giant stars. Now stars only explode if they start out as huge stars and when they get to the end cycle of their existence they end up exploding in a catastrophic explosion called a supernova. And in that supernova so much heat is created that it actually takes the elements in existence which is hydrogen and helium and the carbon and then some other elements that have been cooked up in the inside of the stars as they progress to their, their life cycle, that at the very end they explode and they create so much energy that at that moment of explosion all the elements on the periodic table are fused together. Wow, that is an amazing process. So most of the elements that we're made out of, most of the elements that are around us on the earth, those elements were created in these supernova explosions and that matter then was sent out all over the universe recombined with the hydrogen and helium that existed all around the universe, reformed new stars like our sun, and then around those new stars, planets could form that were then made of the material that was created in those supernova explosions. So, if these giant stars had never existed, and these giant explosions had never occurred, we would have never existed. The Earth would have never existed. Planets like the Earth, terrestrial planets, could not possibly exist because the matter that makes up these things, the planets, the moons, and our bodies, and the animals around us, and the trees, and everything else, those elements come as a result of those supernova explosions, those enormous star explosions. And so matter has changed and has been formed in the universe through various interesting processes that we'll learn about in this series of videos. But it's interesting to know that we owe our very existence to that very special thing that happens only once in a great while. For example, in our galaxy alone, a galaxy that contains about a quarter of a trillion stars, only one of those quarter trillion stars goes through one of these explosions about once every 500 years. So out of the billions and billions, hundreds of billions of stars, only once every 500 years, one of them will go through one of those supernova explosions, creating the kind of material that seeds the universe, making it possible for new life and new planets to form. It's 
quite an amazing process. And yes, that's where matter came from. Matter initially came from energy. Energy created hydrogen. Hydrogen, through the process of the universe, created helium. Then the helium was then used by stars to create carbon. And then by the very large stars, all the other elements were then created through the supernova explosions. An amazing story, amazing reason for our existence here. That's where all the matter comes from.